Hi everybody, welcome to Admissions and 15 Adventures. So we made our way downtown. November 15th. About 1230. We arrived at the Waterfront Center for a spontaneous trip to the Vancouver Christmas Market that opened two days ago. I'm sure you've seen this video a few times already. Alright, so down in Vancouver this weekend is the Grey Cup festivals that are happening this weekend in BC. The Grey Cup is taking place on Sunday. And as you can see, there's a lot of people down here. So they're all getting ready for the, um, the CFL Grey Cup. So basically it's a championship. Just like I said the last time I was here, it's like a Super Bowl, but it's a Canadian version, all right? So we have different teams down here, Calgary, Stampeders, you'll see the Winnipeg's in it, and I believe Toronto Argonauts are in it. So different groups have different, uh, different breakfasts. And so this is part of the festival. We're not down here for this, but they're doing pancakes, it's free pancakes. So, my wife who lived in Calgary said this is so Calgary, so... You know, we've been to one great cup. ...the chuck wagon races that we have as part of the Calgary Stampede. And now every uh, Calgary Stampede for 10 days, we serve pancakes all over the city. And when we come out for great cup and other events like that, we bring all of these amazing volunteers to help you enjoy a little bit of Calgary Pride and Spirit. So thank you all so much. Have an amazing great cup. And on a, another Calgary tradition we have is you might we think it's Yeehaw, but it's actually Yahoo. And past the so, two uh, convention uh, centers, one, one here and then we have the one Yahoo over there, just past that pole, three, is Jack Cole Plaza yeah. where the Vancouver Christmas Fantastic. market is yet again. So it's a beautiful now, that day. Absolute, that would have been the briefest speech for the Calgary Councilor ever. So people come from all over Canada to celebrate this, so if you'll notice, there are different jersey colors. Uh, it's, it's been a while since it's been in BC, so it's kind of cool. Well, I had all planned not to come today. I had actually planned to come tomorrow morning and spend all day down here because we're down, we're down for, uh, to see a show. But because of this beautiful weather, and what I mean by beautiful, it's chilly, but it's not cold, but it is nice, and it's not raining. I uh, decided to come down here and do the Christmas market today for sure in the daylight. And we're going to wait here till our daughter gets here after work, which will probably to take us into the evening. So we'll have uh, both day and, uh, day and night shoot. We are free, uh, doing this hand free again. And so, left the gimbal, kind of screwed up my elbow. So, we'll see where it goes. So, all these uh, events take place. I have no clue what all this is. But you can see the people are all excited with their flags. Different uh, team jerseys from the Canadian yeah, uh, Football League. So, yeah, we'll go from here. We'll walk right through all this. I haven't seen any zip lines yet. But I see people going up there. Oh, hold on, there's our first one. I don't see a long lineup for it. I don't know what it's like up there. Oh, here they go. No, so this has to be cool going over to Burrard Inlet. For the seven second trip. So Jana came to wash her hands. I'm just looking, this is, this is too funny. Uh, I had no plans to go in here. I might just do this prior to going into uh, the Christmas market. So we'll see. We'll see what she says. I'll ask her, and if she says she wants to try this out, we'll we'll check out what's inside the convention center. So I don't know what's happening here. This is obviously something new with the Grey Cup, and yeah, we're gonna go in and take a peek. So we'll see.
lot of kids. Oh, okay, this is actually, this could be interesting. We'll post this. I guess it's going to be, this is an extra spontaneous moment. That's really cool. All the helmets. So we have the BC Lions that are here. We have the High Mountain Tiger Cats. It used to be the Edmonton Eskimos, not are the Edmonton Elks. Winnipeg Blue Bomber, Calgary St. Peter, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Ottawa Rough Riders, I have to call them, and the Toronto Argonauts. They're the Red Blacks now. Cool. So well, obviously this looks to be a very kids oriented. I see they brought some of our, our the beast though, no, not BC, but the CFL legend. Alright. So the CFL shop. Uh, we've been to the Grey Cup before, we've never went to the facilities. I don't think they've had anything like this back when uh, 25, 30 years ago when we went. Holy moly, a lot of kids. I guess we got have the FIFA pin. I guess I would have to buy Italy. The funny thing is when our, our first one was born, it was 30 years ago, and uh, the BC Lions, won the Grey Cup that year and they were traveling around the cities, different cities in the, in the province and we actually put our oldest one, our little oldest one into that cup right there. That is the Grey Cup folks. So this trophy is 110 years old. It's kind of neat. I don't think I could fit my oldest one into that anymore. Awesome. Love it. So one of our mutual friends, uh, one of our friends, I shouldn't say mutual friend, played for the BC Lions in 85 and they did win the Grey Cup and I was just joking with Jayanna that if she wanted a private session with the Cup, that I'm sure he could somehow arrange it. So if you're listening, John, you know, the wife wants a, a photo session with the cup. I really, uh... So Jan is an Evil Queen fan. She found an, a pin at the FIFA Pin Trading Center. And bought, bought it within five seconds. It's almost like a little market here. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to lose her. Because she's looking at everything and I'm just walking around. That's okay, I'm wearing a big blue jacket so it'll be easy to find me. Oh, this is cool. That's really hard to do. By the way, if you ever wondered what was underneath these sails in, in my video, there you are. There's an empty convention room. So that's about it down here. It's just all game. Yeah, we were in that one, 1994. 
Oh, they're close 30 years ago. And ironically, we probably sat in that location, like in a little bit lower, the more to the end zone type. They have cameras, crews all over the place. This is a big event for any of my American followers. Of course, I don't bring sunglasses. What are you so excited about? The zip lighter? Oh. So the roads are shut down. Food trucks everywhere, and the Christmas market. Oh my lord, it's going to be a crazy day in there. So, wow. Now, obviously, the Christmas market is a paid for. Yeah, go right ahead. Goes in the market on the other side. Oh, there's two zip lines. Oh, okay. One going over the inlet, one going over the street. That's really cool. Now, the stadium is nowhere close to here. It is a bit of a walk. It would probably take you about 20 minutes to get there. It's a way big white marshmallow. Well, it used to be a big white marshmallow. Now it has a big crown on it. Cool. Beautiful day, I'm grateful we have this opportunity. So, it is a lot more people than I expected down here because of this festival. I completely forgot about it. So my fear is that the Christmas market is going to be packed. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully it will be just normally busy, but I have a feeling it's going to be extra busy today. Get a free small chocolate at Tim Horton. <laughs> Did you want a bag? You got a free bag. I know, but you need a bag for tra uh, for shopping at the market, don't you? And then there's the stage. And no, this is not the Jonas Brothers stage. I want a football. I'm sure I will line up for one of those. Okay, go in a shorter one. So this is about, what, four blocks? The Christmas market is right behind here. This is the lottery booth. I don't know what they're doing. I like the football. I guess you have to guess how many there are in there. The zip line is just too funny. I think I have to make my way over to the market, but it looked this looked to be going on for quite a bit.
Yeah, I cut to the other side. I know I'm gonna get it. So you can win free groceries here. I don't know what you have to do. So as the Grey Cup Festival take place and the Christmas market, if you can see it, right over here. Well, maybe it isn't many people. The North Pole, Anchorage. Isn't this an Adam DeWoo thing that he just did? If you keep walking in it, I think the North Pole is funny. We do kilometers in, in the rest of the world. Hey, we're still downtown. I don't know what time it is, five. There's a five hour lineup to do the zip line, which is closed for the night because they overloaded. We had no plan for it. The lights are up and now we're gonna work our way over to the Christmas market for a nighttime shot. So this is a little bit of the, the Grey Cup party still. I wanted to cut over to the main drag, but the girls are on their own. So the band is playing. There's a lot of people down here. And here they go. Thanks for tuning in. This is Admissions and 15 Adventures. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, here, oh, they're throwing out here. Oh, they're throwing out the stuff now. They gave up with the spinning wheel. The festivals and parties began.